The ITIL process map includes a complete RACI responsibility assignment matrix. That matrix describes on one page the participation by the various ITIL roles in the ITIL processes. The exact format of the matrix depends on the version of the ITIL process map. The ARIS model, for example, includes an ARIS matrix, while the VISIA version contains a RACI matrix in the form of an Excel table. But before we take a closer look at the matrix, I wanted to show you that there is, of course, also responsibility information in the process diagrams. In the swim lines, for example, we show which IT roles are responsible for performing the activities in the process. And at the top we indicate who is meant to be the process owner. So this kind of responsibility information is in the diagrams, but the RACI matrix provides a summary of all the responsibilities for all the processes. And here's the RACI matrix in Excel. At the top we have all the ITIL roles, and down here at the left we have the ITIL processes. And in the center we use the familiar abbreviations from the RACI model to indicate levels of responsibility. If we scroll down a little to find the process we've seen in Visio before, then we can see the A and the R for the change manager. Because the change manager is both the process owner and he also has to perform a couple of activities in the process. And we can also see the R for the Change Advisory Board. So what we see here in the metrics is exactly in line with the responsibility information in the process diagrams. If you forgot what these abbreviations mean, you can look that up in the legend on a separate page. Now, this metrics is a nice summary of the responsibilities of the roles in the processes but it could also be used for navigating the process model, starting from a role perspective. If you are, say, the change manager, then you could set a filter and choose to see only the relevant processes. If you switch on the filter, that will narrow down the list to only the relevant processes for the change manager. And then, because the process names here at the left are equipped with links, the change manager can open the process diagrams and, uh, if we zoom in a little, then he can see what precisely he is supposed to do in the process. Of course, this matrix is not static. It's easy to adapt it to the needs of your organization, because every cell is equipped with a tiny drop-down list with the possible entries. So we could add here, for example, an additional responsibility for the enterprise architect to this process. But a word of caution is in order here. Changing this responsibility in the matrix will not change anything in the Visio diagram. So you would now need to do a similar change in the process diagram. And if you have a minute, I will show you a quick example of how this can be done. In Visio we can first create a bit of space and then add an additional swim lane here at the bottom. Then we can, for example, pull down a couple of activities into the new swim lane and adjust the sequence flow a bit. Now we drag a role shape from the document stencil onto the swim lane and set the role to the enterprise architect using our repository add-in. And now the enterprise architect is responsible for carrying out the activities here in the bottom swim lane. Apart from changing responsibilities, you can of course also add whole new content to the metrics. Some of our customers, for example, have added a new role here on top because they needed a place where to specify what people from within their organization are assigned to specific ideal roles. In fact, there are many ways of adapting this metrics. There are no limits. You can do with this metrics whatever is possible in Excel.